What's up guys, thank you for watching JG Tech Blog and for today's video we have the LG Aristo 2, the first phone for 2018 that just came out for Metro PCS. Uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to do the unboxing of the phone, I'm going to tell you guys my opinion about it, the review of some quick features, uh, because to be honest with you, this is very similar to the Aristo 1, if you guys have watched my uh, previous video, which is the Aristo 2 versus the Aristo 1, I'll have that link down below if you haven't already watched it. Alright, so first of all, let's go ahead and see what's in the box. And then turn on the phone and see the features, the operating system, and the specs of it itself. So, here you have the Aristo 2. It actually has a very plastic feel to it. So, looking inside the box, you have the SIM card, you have the manual itself for the Aristo 2. Unlike the ZTE models, this one actually has a removable battery. It's 2410 milliamp, and then you have the adapter that goes to the wall, and it is not a fast charging adapter. And last but not least, you have the USB cable, which is not USB-C, unfortunately. All right, so let's go ahead and install the battery into the phone, turn this baby on, and show you guys some more features about it. So that's one thing I like about LG, that it's still sticking to its guns and doing the removable battery. A lot of people, they want a full charge, so they can automatically just insert one. Although it's a beautiful design, it is going to be attracting a lot of fingerprints on top. But majority of the time, people usually have a case on it, so sometimes that wouldn't really matter to a lot of people so let's go ahead and turn this on and while it's turning on let's go ahead and check out the design of it so on the left hand side you have the volume rockers up and down there's a little spacing between them so that's good on the right hand side you don't have the power button it's all the way in the back you have the flash you have the 13 megapixel rear camera and then you have the LG branding and the speakers down at the bottom you have the 3.5 headphone jack you have the micro USB slot and then in the front you have your five inch display, the five megapixel camera, and your sensors at the top. So let's give this a second while it turns on. And let's go ahead and take this off so you guys can see it a little bit more clearly. All right, so that's the welcome screen. We're gonna go ahead and just skip all of this until later on. Now the phone is running a 1.4 gigahertz quad core processor, but I'm actually pretty impressed. It's not lagging or anything like that as the Aristo one. This is actually pretty fast. Whether I was on the browser, watching a video, or taking pictures, everything was working perfectly fine. It was really smooth going from one page to another, going through the apps, and just doing my daily tasks. It is running 2 gigabytes of RAM compared to the 1.5 that, that was on the Arista 1, so maybe that has a lot to do with it. And looking at the storage of it itself, you've already used up 6.67 gigabytes out of the 16 internal storage that's on the phone, so you have 9.33 gigabytes that's left for you to use. So if we go into the software info of the phone, you'll see that this is running 7.1.2. So that is Nougat Android. So that's the same model that the Arista 1 had. So not a major difference there. Now looking at the camera interface, very clear. Not that bad actually. It's decent for a 13 megapixel camera. The shutter speed is pretty fast as well. If you look at the filters that they have, also not bad at all. Pretty responsive as well. I'm actually impressed at how fast this is actually going. Thought it was gonna work much slower. And this is the video quality. Very nice as well. And it has the uh, quick autofocus. It's not blurry or anything like that. I don't see nothing grainy. And let's check out the pictures, as we can see. It's the picture we took. Even if I zoom in, it's not pixelated and grainy like other phones would be so a pretty decent camera to be honest now for the video resolution you can actually record in 1920 by 1080 or in high definition 1280 by 720 so i'm not going to go into too much details about the camera and other things because i'm going to be doing that in my full review so one of the coolest things they've added to the aristo 2 is actually the facial recognition so i've already added my face and i'm going to do a separate video on how well the facial recognition actually works but let me show you a quick test right now my face is already added tap the icon right here to try again so tap the icon Facial recognition, I'm in the phone. So again, so double tap it to turn off. Look at the phone, goes in. This is much faster than fingerprint touch. So at the beginning, I didn't think it was worth the upgrade to the LG Aristo. After using the facial recognition and seeing how fast the phone is and the amazing design of it, it is actually worth the $59 upgrade. And they also have a port in promotion right now. So if you are coming from a different carrier and going to Metro PCS, you actually get this phone for free. I'm going to go ahead and delete my face right now and just show you how easy it is actually to add your face. So start, put your entire face into the camera and then it'll tell you to just go different sides so you can get the full, now your head up and down. 
left and right. That's it. So now it gets the full face we're ready to use. It's that simple. Go ahead and just turn it off. Turn it on. That's it. That's how simple it is. So very amazing technology that was added to the LG Aristo 2. I love it. I would definitely recommend if you are having the LG Aristo, whether it's the blue model or the silver model, to do upgrade to the LG Aristo 2. If I forgot to talk about anything you want me to talk about in the full review, please mention that in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you think about getting the LG Aristo 2. And don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when the full review is up.